left arm. Sorry. Okay, so, so, so welcome, uh, welcome again. So uh, we are very happy to be here with you. Here on the table, we have uh, Dr. William Lee Aladdin. He's the uh, coordinator for scientific research in our university. So we have Professor Shigafumi Mori, who is, uh, well, as you know, a few years but he's now here in his capacity as uh, president of the International Mathematical Union. Okay. We have uh, Dr. Professor Alejandro Adam, who is uh, an excellent mathematician, great friend of Mexico, and director of uh, the MITAX Institute. And also he was the chair for the scientific committee for this meeting. And we have Dr. Professor Marilina Caballero, who was also a member of the scientific committee. He played a very, very important role in this for organizing this meeting. And she's also been uh, the head, the, the leading force for making the group of probability in our institute. Well, and myself as the director of the institute. I want to say just a few words. <coughs> Well, you know, we are celebrating our first 75 years. This is the oldest research, mathematics research center in Latin America. And it has always had a very, let me say, national perspective. Like a light showing the path for mathematics in Mexico. And uh, it, it, somehow that was very much a uh, view we have for organizing this meeting. All four is called 75 years of mathematics in Mexico. The idea was not at all to make a history of what has been done during these 75 years. The idea was more to celebrate it, this, uh, this occasion with a meeting that in a way could show us lights of how mathematics are moving in the world. Paths in which we are moving, we as a mathematical community internationally. And uh, of course we cannot cover everything, the spectrum is too big, but even so I think uh, the variety of topics is very, very interesting. The lectures are fantastic, we are very happy for all the invited speakers we have. Of course I want to take this occasion to thank the people who have worked very, very, very strongly for this meeting. I want to mention particularly the organizing committee, Dr. Javier Lizondo, Daniela Bardini, Manuel Dominguez, and Magali. Where is Magali? You're here. Please, please, all of you, stand up. Yeah, yeah, please, I, I, I want you to ask her. To, And we've also had a very, very important, strong support of our people, like Imelda Paredes, Gabriel Artigas, Alma, Carla Soto, who was giving so much working. They've also worked very, very hard. And uh, well, of course, I should uh, thank the authorities of our university. The National Council for Science and Technology is uh, basically financing all this meeting. And uh, I want to say that 75 years sounds like a lot, but really is not that much if we talk of a scientific tradition. Mathematics in Mexico is still a young community. We still have a lot of work to do. And uh, I am sure that uh, this opportunity of having great invited speakers living together with our students here and with some invited, some visitors that we have, uh, that, that have come from many parts of the country who are now with us. All of this should contribute to encourage the growth up of mathematics in Mexico. Both in quality, I think quality is very good. We really have a, uh, one lecture by a 
research for, for our initiative today, we have more in these days. You will not see that the quality is very, very, very good. Or can be better. And we want that. We want to have better mathematics and better schools all around the country. And uh, we are trying to move as a community in that direction. And for that, it is very important that all of you who are coming from abroad keep Mexico in your hearts. We try to do our best for that. Thanks you all for being here. Perhaps, Alejandro. Oh, uh, and thank you very much. Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here, in particular because uh, I was a student here and I spent a lot of time here at the Instituto de Matemáticas. Um, I want to say a few words on behalf of my colleagues in Canada, who I think I'm representing here. So uh, we are delighted by the partnership that we have with Mexico with institutes like Instituto de Matemáticas and CIMAT and other institutes in, in Mexico through the uh, Banff International Research Station and now the Casa Matemática Oaxaca. And uh, I want to thank uh, Pepe and uh, Jose Antonio de la Peña, Javier Bracho and others here who have worked so hard uh, to make that partnership uh, what it is. It is the, a really an example of North American partnership between Canada, Mexico and yes, the United States. Uh, and uh, it's built by the mathematicians, by the scientists. Uh, that's really what counts. And uh, in particular, the Canadians are just amazed and so pleased to have this uh, strong relationship with Mexico. Uh, the meetings that have been taking place in Oaxaca, the reviews we get are just fantastic. People love to go there. And uh, the fact that this institute now has a branch there in Oaxaca, which is strong with some excellent young mathematicians, uh, I think is very encouraging. And I think we can make a lot out of that uh, collaboration, grow it in uh, many different directions. And I'd like to see more Canadians coming here to the Institute to work and to collaborate uh, long term with people here. And uh, beyond that, all I want to do is congratulate all of you for this wonderful milestone. And we look forward to the next uh, 75 years. But before that, let me just say that uh, I'm very happy to say that the former two directors of our institute are now with us, Dr. Jose Antonio La Peña and Dr. Javier Bracho. Also, Javier Gomez Mont, he's a leading mathematician in this institute. He was here for many years. And I'm also very happy and grateful that Dr. Hector Benitez, who is with us, he's the director of the other research institute of mathematics in our university, which is the Institute for Applied Mathematics and Systems. So thanks. All of those have been very, very important, are being very important contributions for building up our community. And now, please, Professor Mori. Yeah, thank you. So I'm very happy to be here on the occasion of the 75th anniversary of the Institute. Well, so I, with, uh, my presence here meaning, means that uh, uh, I mean think that uh, uh, Mexico is a very important member of the international mathematical community. And so uh, sub just to say 75 is not uh, that simple to, to have that tradition because IMA itself, uh, well, it was originally uh, founded in 1920, but uh, it's dissolved around 1930. <laughs> And then uh, it was re-established in 1952. It's about uh, my age. So it's six, uh, less than uh, seven years old. So uh, because of this, I think that 75 years of, uh, of the, this tradition is very important. And uh, I would like to congratulate uh, by being here. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> My turn? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Well, um, thank you very much, 
Pepe for the invitation to participate in the anniversary of the Institute. It seems like the party has been going on for a number of months because this is at least the third event where we talk about the 75th anniversary of the Institute. I think it's December, so it'll soon be over, but <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy to be here. And thank you, uh, Dr. Mori and Maria Emilia and um, Alejandro for, for being here with us. Um, well, I'm, and thank you, of course, to uh, Jose Antonio and Javier, who are here as well as former directors of the Institute, and Hector Benitez, representing IMAS, who's also a very important branch for the university. I heard that Daniel Juan, who's director of the center in Moledi, was here this morning, but um, Pepe was saying he has some business to attend to that I charged him with, which is not true, but anyway. Um, so, so Pepe has just said, this is the, the oldest institute for mathematics in, in Mexico and even in some ways in region beyond Mexico. And I think that's, that's quite important. It has been, from the very beginning, one of the driving forces for mathematics in Mexico, uh, not just within the university, but in the country. One of the events we had a few weeks ago, I can't remember exactly what day it was, was the 50th anniversary, well, the 50th Congress, National Congress for Mathematics. And they were created, the Institute and the Society, which does the Congress one years, uh, with one year's difference, I think, 1942, 1943. And the Institute and the people in it were a driving force behind that as well. And that has made um, other institutes possible in Mexico doing mathematics. So sort of many sons and daughters branching off uh, CIMAT is an example. The Centro de Ciencias Matemáticas in Morelia is an example. Uh, you have other branches that are still part of the Institute of Mathematics, but that probably in some future date will become separate centers and institutes. Maybe in 75 years we'll talk about that. Well, not us, but, you know. Um, we do not have enough of you, enough mathematicians in this country. Um, I think mathematics are at the basis of, of scientific research, and we don't have enough of that. So what can we do about it, and what are we doing about it? I have some ideas, and I know a little bit of what you are doing. So let me take a minute of that um, to, to just cite a few examples. Many of you are involved in the Olympics for mathematics that go on periodically. This is something that has been a goal and an achievement of this community, I think. And they are, they are still thriving. You have a national network that is sponsored by the CONACYT, which not every discipline has. And normally when the CONACYT, the federal funding agency, thinks of uh, assigning money for research, everybody thinks of labs and expensive equipment and things like that. And you usually don't need that, but you do need the networks. And I think you've been very successful at, at doing that. Uh, you have I think, successfully managed to take advantage of the funds that Conacyt does have for buildings and for this basic infrastructure that is required over the past uh, several years, uh, more than 10 years probably, in order to, uh, to expand. And you are now growing with some of this money in the more recent past in Cuernavaca and in the branch in Juriquilla. Uh, and this comes from regional development funds. Uh, the laboratory you have in Cuernavaca uh, also transformed this year from being a international associate laboratory with France to a, a mixed research unit. And we were there in April, I think, when we had this, this meeting. So I think many things are, are happening, and that is, um, that is always very good. You're consolidating the branch of Oaxaca, which Alejandro just mentioned, and this collaboration with Pierce, which I think is, is extremely important. And you are constantly telling the rest of our scientific colleagues, myself included, which I have to supervise now, uh, why what you do is in many ways different than other branches of science, if you will, and why it is important that this be done in such a way, and what often is not completely right with our evaluation system as we carry it out, and how we should think about that, and how we should fix it or modify it in order to take advantage and account of all the differences that are in the work that each of you carries out every day. 
And I think that's very important if we want to maintain diversity, which is at the root of what we do every day. Uh, I also see a community is always willing and able to, to create, to maintain, and to expand in international and external collaborations with many institutions around the world. Um, and that always tries to see what the next step should be for the future. And I think that's very valuable. You have to do that every day, of course, because if you stop doing it, then you fall into the comfort zone, and that's a horrible place to be in. Um, and the high standards that you require to carry out your work, you have to be constantly revising. If you want to make sure that in another 25 or 50 or 75 years, you can have another party like this one and be happy on what you did in the previous time. So maybe we'll be around, or some of us will be around for the next 25 or maybe even 50. Some of the students that are here Probably, I hope so. Uh, those in the next 75 years, maybe we'll have to wait or go get them at the daycare center or something to, so that they can be here. So I would like to close by thanking all of you for coming because bringing you together is what makes the meeting a success. So some of you came from very close by and some of you came from not so close. <laughs> so I would like to thank you all for coming and for making the meeting a success. And I'm sure it will be. Thank you very much. So in a few minutes, you are all invited to welcome cocktail. And uh, there will be a nice surprise. I hope you will enjoy it. All right. Bye.